Hello there, everybody. I hope everyone has had a fantastic weekend and they are just getting ready back tonight and to chill, chill out for the last little bit before back to work in the morning. I uh, apologize for anyone who is in the, uh, I guess, southern hemisphere who might be uh, going into that kind of uh, area now. Uh, so. If you're watching there, I apologize. Yep, it's it's work time for you guys. So, but for the rest of us, we're going to try and hold out as long as we can before we can do that. So, tonight we're going to kick back and enjoy with some more Valheim. Um, I actually, th there's a lot for me to unpack to do with the Mistlands, really, to be honest. That was my first time that I've ever sort of encroached the Mistlands. Um, it was kind of fun. It was different. Uh, uh, I have forgotten how to roll, so now I need to remember how to do that. And um, yeah, it's time to like probably work on some weapons and some armor and uh, give myself a little bit more geared up and a little bit more prepared uh, to uh, face the beasties in there. Uh, maybe we'll do some more mining. Maybe we'll have a look at some of the black marble tonight. Maybe we'll have a look at some of the different steel. Uh, we've got to get that packet pickaxe kind of like sorted out uh, and the and the wood we've got that uh we've got to cut down some wood there i think as well we've actually got the was it yet the, the yggdrasil wood i can't even remember what the name of the wood was now but um yes we are gonna jump back in and enjoy ourselves and uh we'll see who else is here playing multiplayer as well i'm sure there's probably a few people but Let's jump on in and enjoy the show. So, uh, yep, looks like uh, Raptor and everyone have had a good time in PAX. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be working with him probably in the foreseeable future due to the fact that he's obviously uh, going to be busy. So, uh, we shall see. That being said, if you have any suggestions for any games that you would like to see me play, um, please go ahead and uh, reach out to me in some way. I'm pretty easy to get hold of uh, and uh, see if there's any games or whatever that you want to uh, catch up with or anything like that. Or maybe you'd like to see me play for the first time. Uh, I'm totally down for that. Uh, but yes, we are going to jump into my Discord here and we'll see who is around. Looks like it might be sinister and silent night, but we'll see. Hello there. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. How are you today, sir? I am good. Excellent. The test continues. Things seem to be working rather nicely by the way i couldn't help but uh, notice you mentioned that you had trouble rolling oh yeah yeah that yeah because i didn't know we how to put do it. in a mod for you oh yes sir everyone oh. has a problem with that particular mechanic it's it's all about timing and coordination on that one so we simplified it a little bit simply double tap a, W, S, or D, and you will roll in that direction. Sweet. Yeah, I, I'll uh, practice that a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. So what other mods have been added then? Because I've seen that we've got a whole new... Uh... Yes, we added uh, about 13 mods. That's so what the, grand wow. total, the grand total for the community server will be about 123 of which I believe only a hundred and well, less than twenty-three are loaded into memory during the Sweet. I'm gonna be accidentally rolling all over the place now. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm doing it as well. <laughs> uh we have all these Ninja extra practice. was there something about we were adding more lines in the backpack was it uh some That's of the inventories have been changed uh 
Okay. Yes. Now, drag. You, know, you remember how to drag? Yeah. Just drag your uh, reinforced chest down below that. Oh. That is a new line. Do you have to add a button to drag it? No. Uh, oh, you 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 down. hold hold right or left control and your left mouse button and simply drag it. Now oh, there we go. It was the right control bit that I was missing. Ooh, yeah. So that's the extra line. I thought so. I thought that was what it was. So red. When was the last time you came out to visit my fortress? Oh, that's that's been quite a while. It has definitely been a minute. Should I be coming over there? You should. It is nearing completion. And yours was near. Yeah, there it is. And you really should start utilizing your quits quick slots for uh, your food, your potions, and stuff like that. I should. UIO. All you gotta do is pick up the stack, drag it, drop it. I know. Into that slot. The default is ZXC, but those buttons are spoken for in the base game. Dear right. modding community, hint, hint. <laughs> oh, first building in front is the Great Hall. Empty right now. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's fine. We can start down. This is the Craftsman Stairs, so workshop and smithy. Nice. Dockyard and warehouse. Kitchen. And the bigger, bigger ship. What ship yeah. size is that? Is that the merchant? That's one of the Odin Plus ships. Yeah. That is... Probably one of the Skulder lives, either the fast I, or I don't, the. Uh... I don't remember which one. But... Hey there, DJ. No, Good to see you. That's, that's a merchant. Okay, cool. I've got a car with a random attachment here as well. Oh, they you're are... talking about the the outrigger. Yeah, yeah. The outrigger's nice. I finally got my farm complete. That's a big old farm for you. That's one farm. The other farm is under construction. Sweet. Coastal defense ballistas. So we don't need those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't built them yet. I should probably do that. They're going to be fun. Uh, yeah, um, How big are they, actually? Let me have a look. They're a decent size. Oh, sweet. Unfortunately, you have to manually load them. They don't auto load. Oh well. Also unfortunate. There's nothing for them to shoot at because of the board. Well, this one. Actually has a target. I I got plenty to shoot at. They come out my black house. forest on a daily basis. I'm building a gatehouse right now that'll deal with shooting the rest. I don't know if you've seen the kitchen or not. It hasn't really changed. Although I did, I finally got my work done. So I, I don't think I saw the kitchen last time. Finally fixed my ward so I can access it again. Sweet. Got almost everything now, so you can craft them as you can Nice. And one of the newer editions is this little staircase. Hey there, Brad Northman. So access the uh, training area. Sweet. And fighter production is through here. This whole room is encased in black marble. Wait, what's this? For uh, practicing your pickaxe. Oh, okay. I don't like that edition. 
don't like the fact you have to rebuild it when you break it. Well, oh, this yeah. is the black marble, is it? Yep. Yeah. Oh. The, the, the uh, Ida refinery has to be encased in it because it yes. sparks and damages it's, everything. It's dangerous. I encased it in black marble and regular stone. Sweet. Finally built my living quarters is in here. Nice high comfort of 15. Nice pointy hat you have there. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Big hollow here. So it's still under construction. At least it finally has a roof. Oh, you can update your uh, cartography if you want. Oh, yeah. And then we'll take it for the mage tower. Which is still under construction. Hey there, Deep Explorer. Good to see you. Yeah, so if you guys have any uh, suggestions of, of games. It's a what? 3,000 what? Black marble. Wow. Just to build this. I mean, it's a hollow shell, but it's... What happened to you? I haven't finished. I ran okay. out of black marble. Fair, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's going to be... Is it... How much does it use per one? Each block is four. Ouch. Wow. Yep. It's 23 tall and it's 32 pieces for the ring. Right. And that's where I'm at so far. That's really cool though. That is awesome. Apparently I've built this across two sectors as well, so frame rate actually stays decent. At least for me. I don't know what yeah, it's uh, I mean it's okay for me, but I think the others would struggle. I'm seeing like 30 frames per second. Yeah, it's about what I'm averaging. It gets up to about 40, 45 up there, 50 for me. So, yeah, That's I would me. imagine Simet's going to struggle coming here. This mage tower will encompass my alchemy lab and jewel crafting lab. And By the way, oh, I was going to say, how do you count? How do you know which zone you're in? But then I just send that on the map. Yeah. Zone negative 75. Yep. Negative 75. And then negative 74 or 75. Negative. I don't know with mine. I haven't even looked. This, this might actually be more than the two zones, then. Yep. That's, that's pretty extensive. Yeah, this is in four zones. The, the fortress. No, I'm so. not giving you four. What? Chunk loaders. I don't need four. <laughs> I only need one for the each. Uh, yeah, my my house is farm. just right on the corner, I think. So it's it's pretty close to. Two, maybe three zones. Yes, the daily Hoover patrol. That's where we go around and Hoover up all the stuff left over by <laughs> the evening's chaos. It, it... Is neck meat actually stuff. used for anything yes, like really yes, worthwhile? Yes, it is. Meats. It is a component in a lot of meat recipes. Okay, good. Beautiful base. It is, Jim uh, Thule. It is. You can also use it for... Uh, have I played Project Castaway? No, I have not. True. Very true. Back to gatehouse construction. I wonder how much, like, 
Now I'm kind of curious. Uh, seven. Four. I think this fortress on the one I'm sitting in. Am I completely out of wood? I'm fortress constructing? No, no, I'm not. Are you constructing harvesting materials? Kind of curious. What would I? What would happen if I? I really put that up higher? I can't. Yeah, oh, right. I haven't even looked to see what we can make on this. So we, I can only make that amount on that. I, uh, oh yeah, I need a number of upgrades. Upgrades. What's up, people? How's everyone doing? I am doing good, Lawrence uh, Wimbley. I have not played uh, Project Castaway. If you hold shift, you can place it anywhere. Yes, I, I am aware of that. Um, it's just a case of where does it fit aesthetically, if that makes sense, Jim. Because it's like on an angle, that kind of doesn't that looks a little bit weird uh you know what let's let's try it oh help if i uh Yeah, the shift isn't really going to help me, I don't think. Might have better luck if you use Gizmo to rotate it, Fred. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, what do you mean, like? With Gizmo, you can rotate it in any direction you want. I mean, I know that, but I'm just trying to like think what where you. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Is that or put it behind the cordwood and attach to the wall and have it clip through? Yeah, but that it's not hacking right there. Uh, Only the lender had actual physics in the dangle property. Right. I mean, that's actually better. far away from my magic box. Ah, oh, there we go. It sucking up all the wood before I um, and all the stuff before I can 
It looks like the radius is actually bigger for picking up than it is putting down. Yeah, I had an issue where I would break a piece of wood, try to grab it, and the fireplace would grab it. Legion, you've been a member for one month. Yay! That's a lie. <clears throat> Streamlab lies. Will you be revisiting Sons of the Forest? Andrew Reynolds, that really depends on Raptor um, and Dirty and Lumberjack and uh, wherever they want me. Why is that... I mean, it's really up to them if they if they if they want to play it again. They know where I am. I'm I want to play it. I'm up for playing. Just noticed all of my crafting tables are all like wrong. If you hit V, it's it's what? If you hit the V key when you're adjusting Gizmo, you'll reset its orientation to default. Okay, cool. I think I'd already reset it, but... Is there any way of like making, uh, I know this is going to sound really, really strange. Is there any way of boosting the Wi-Fi signal for the, the, uh, the item drawers? Well, you mean, uh, the range on them? <laughs> yeah. Yes. The, the grabby range or the building range? Oh, I, I just mean like, is that not without modifying it for everybody but for just me um if you go into the f1 menu okay i have finished my house old school yes see i'm on a delay here watching you so yeah i know i got you waiting for everything to catch up dear god i can't read that i'll tell you what you should do do it on yours don't change anything but just talk me through it well, if he changes it on his it changes it for everybody no yeah, but... it does not and that has been the problem the entire time 
Um, what you want to do is you want to go to item drawers. Would be KG item drawers. And the drawer pickup range should be set to 25. Okay. So change that to, I don't know, 30. Why do you need 30 is your... Actually, no, the pickup range is fine, isn't it? It's the... It's the, the pull range. Right. And that is going to be by workstation. So... Ah... Uh... We have to go to we'll stay in the close that, stay in the uh, F1 menu. Just uh, tap on, click on the. Uh, yep, the I header. got you. Yep, done. This is going to be one of Azamat's uh, workbench tweaks. There, Azu workbench tweaks. In the workbench range be set to 25 as well right got that it's set to, to match the player base size okay so that's set to 25 as well so i should increase yes. that um workbench range yes uh that's whoa i did that wrong Yeah, it does change it for everybody. I'm watching. Now, the, yeah, there you go. Okay, so it is changing it for everyone? Yeah. Okay. Well, Andrew Reynolds, maybe, maybe, maybe I could do that. Uh, what about Icarus uh, Community nice Games? You can just... Uh... Drag the mouse over the, the text field there for the uh, numbers. Oh, just yeah, type. and then just type over it, yeah. Okay, let's see. What do we need? I don't think anyone's going to complain about full range or anything. No. Like yeah. <laughs> We have an anti. Oh, I don't have a forge caller. That's right. I do not have any copper. Or oh, I have a tiny amount of it. Oh, that's interesting. My health is at 50 and not 75. That's correct. Everything is realistic. Oh, have we wadded some stuff down so it's not as OP? Um, I'm guessing. Or I could have possibly changed something, but there's always a chance of that. What did you do? Who knows? No, you have to know. Well, it might have been... Nah, I don't think it would have been my weapon. Uh, it shouldn't be a weapon. Oh, uh... You ran out of food? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm out of food, but that's what I'm saying. My normal health was at 75 before. Yes. So, and now it's at 50, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. Because I didn't change it. Oh, maybe that's it. There's something there saying inactive. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that... What is inactive? That is the um, Hercules. Hercules, right. perfect. Yeah, but Hercules is only carry weight. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering if there's other ones. So that rings can take, only have one gem. Take, yeah, take the, the the gem or the ring off. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to mess about with that. See, I told you it was a bad idea to put that many sockets on. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> if I've rubbed too many, then not enough. Whoa, four white star locks. Yeah, I'll have to play about uh, with those. Be a lot of hot. Uh, don't. <laughs> bad idea. Real right, bad I'll, idea. A bit of lightning staff. Yeah, but. Hey, Saint Cat. Their AOE is stuff? bigger than yours. Um. <laughs> yeah, but I'm one shotting them all. Scary. Just because I have a couple of ballistas, you know, I have you been cutting back? Generates is bad news. Now it's a park. Oh, it's a big old. That's five or six locks. Just gonna let the locks hammer down all the small stuff. Why not? That's cool. I picked up another one of those blessed crystal boxes. Yes. It's a mid-range one. It's purple. Yeah, I've not had one of the really good ones. I'm working on one right now. Oh, you can make now. them? No. Now, oh. that is a question. There are some items that I'm debating. Should we leave them drop only? Or shall we put them in the crafting table? Well, hidden boxes should be craftable, just expensive. Yeah, I was gonna say though, it kind of defeats the whole point in breaking down the special weapons. Yes. yes. Because at least now you like, even right now, like we've got all the the crystals that we want, but but for the ones that we will want the uh, cheap, you know, the double ones. Well, the, the fused ones. Yeah, yeah, the fused ones, yeah. That's what I mean. There are only eight variants out of the nine possible gemstones. Right. For the fused gems, because uh, you cannot fuse a, a like thing with the same thing. It just doesn't work. So there are 72 variants in all for every stone. Right. So yeah, it's a lot of stones, but nowhere near a thousand. Now there are, uh, the soul gems are in a separate category by themselves. It's an entirely different apparatus. Different mechanics. Right, yeah. Aside from the base gym, there are four other variants of it. And basically it's like stacking them all. You get the base gym itself that you've created by killing 30 of whatever it is. And then you go out go on another killing spree and make another one and then fuse just those two Hellbroth of Frost Charge yeah did somebody drop that down here by accident or uh, it's a possibility thinking I they were gems 
No, I. No. That was probably me. They are munitions for certain stabs. Uh, right. They do with alchemy and wizardry. Unfortunately, the frost one does healing, not frost one. Oh, really? At least that's what it was doing for me. I'm assuming it did. If you load it with. Right. If, if, you, if you try to do health things, it does that. But it can switch purposes. You store the charges in your quiver. So you really need to update, upgrade your quiver. Yeah, hey, I haven't done that. Does that mean it can hold more? Yeah, you yes. can get up to six slots. Oh, I need to do that. I'll do it at my other place. I've got everything there, I think. Who keeps hiding the quiver? Huh? Huh? Who keeps hiding the quiver in the settings? Oh, I'm not. I have no oh. idea. I rarely go into the F1 menu. Mark, do you want to? You want other people to watch? You don't want to watch just me? Feeling hurts. I'm upset. I'm upset now. I thought you loved me. Start fueling drops a lot of black metal. So I finally killed all of those locks. Cut two and a half stacks of lock belt and uh, nine stacks of meat. Will I be doing a new Rimworld playthrough? You can bet your tootie you will be. I will be. Yeah, I keep forgetting. It's, uh, that's a graphics bug. It's a graphical bug with a quiver. Whenever you upgrade it, it Oh, it doesn't like cycle, it. it. It does the last upgrade cycle. It does not remove it and then put it back into your uh, equip slot for it. It loads it in. It equips it, but it doesn't show the the graphic for it. So. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So if you really want to see it and all that stuff, you gotta remove it. Put it back on again. So. Then, have you noticed the color of the arrow uh, flights on the arrows change color depending on what you're using? Oh yeah, yeah. It looks like you made the black chests bigger too. A little bit, a little bit. We uh, did some adjustments on the, uh... yeah, it's got more rows, but not more columns. Can't afford to have any Will you be columns, doing a new in world place? The columns are horizontal. Well, they go across the top. I got top, you. Top to bottom. And the rows go down, so. Columns are vertical and rows are horizontal. Right. But yeah, they have a hard coded limit. So that's, I think that's the right place.
at least the columns do. The rows, just a couple, couple chests and bags and whatnot that uh, have a hard coded limit on those. Right. But you can actually go as deep in something as it is wide, or sometimes a little deeper. remember Digital Roots saying about the uh, big iron storage and the big bronze storage. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they were they were not as intended. They should actually be a little bit bigger on the... Uh, right. Storage. That makes sense. Mechs versus zombies. You've seen zombies. So I actually did a playthrough with. Um, I actually did a playthrough that I was doing a personal playthrough of, and I only just started it, so I I could easily set it up again. Uh, although I'm gonna have to have some reminders about how to do so, but um, basically. Uh, it was uh, human survivors against the vampire world. And they were like human, you know, imagine like Blade. Sorry, Blade 2, I should say, where they were like human vampire hunters on a vampire planet. I can't remember why I needed that that special wood from Misslands. You got a wood? Yeah. It's for a lot of crafting. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. Three cyborg marines and some civilians get crash landed on Rimworld and have to survive. For the marines are incapable of menial tasks and infertile. Alright, we need to head back. I, c I could easily spend probably half an hour to an hour probably sorting out these chests but I'm not going to I mean I could do I'm not going to, but I am. All right.
Oh, Confordium is the last one, so... Okay, no, I did do it right. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Do you, do you, do you, do ya? Oh, there's one. Ruby Comfortite, there it is. It's quite interesting how much I'm actually missing. I'm actually missing loads of those crystals, but the mixed ones. You'd like a Spartan ideology? What would you like to see on my playthrough when I do one? And bear in mind, what do you think would uh, that what would make the best for using anomaly? Oh wait, I have got that. Okay, good. Um, have an anvil. Surprising. Oh, wait a minute. The forge is downstairs. Mortar and pestle. Oh, that's for the cauldron. I know what I could do. I could go over and just uh, get some copper, mine some copper out. Oops.
Here's the copper. Easy copper. As soon as one, it's it's another thing. Wait, what is that? An orcelain? Oh yeah, you removed something about the the table as well, didn't you? Something. So how far you can dig down and stuff? Um, actually, you can dig down sixteen meters. It's double what you thought was. Yeah. Want to know what your ceiling limit is? Uh, Twenty-eight meters. I was probably never gonna dig that high, but or I mean, build that high, but. Hey, you never know. There's a trick to it. It can be done. Oh, I'm sure. Just uh, look at some of the stuff that Nine Bite. And a car. Yeah. We got closet. Okay. So. So what would you like to see then? What would you like to see with my Rimworld thing? With my playthrough? What, what, what are your thoughts on that? Wait a minute, I suddenly realized I'm hearing furlings. Yeah. Who put that tree there? It slides down. Like <laughs> no. I'm just teasing. Well, the good news is is that they're doing playtests, aren't they, for the 1.5 uh, for RimWorld. So I think... Hopefully the modders will be ready. as well. What's that? Public test. Hey, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. PT 
TB. Well, there goes my plan to dig underneath there, so I don't think this is going to happen now. What is that? It's water. Yeah, the water, water underneath here, but there. You can, you can swim underwater. You can oh, that's up. true. Yeah, we could use the weapon underwater now. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, good point. You can use tools and weapons while swimming. Yeah, while I remember now. Sorry, that was force of habit. That's a mod. gonna play around underwater I would advise eat some food oh yeah 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 for sure yeah while I'm on top of the ground that's that's fine but yeah going underwater and all that no that that involves food at least a red berry You got any ideas for what you'd like to see me play on RimWorld? You're saying Vikings? I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough copper here now. For me personally. Get visited by feelings? Yes. Yeah, I've had a couple. They had a, 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 a five-man five rating party. The leader was a two, three. Standard stars. No, no infusions or anything. And among them was a berserker, who I have not seen since he came ashore. Oh. I have no idea what happened to him. More than likely, he got eaten by rabbits or pigs. Hopefully. Maybe he drowned. If he came ashore, he didn't drown. Maybe he went back into the water. No, he didn't. <laughs> Some and 
Let's drop some of this stuff back. Oh. Didn't take out a stump. They get just outside of range of the ballista and then they just disengage and run away. The feelings are wise to the ballista. Interesting. Oh, you got to go now, Legion. So, uh, you, how many mods do you think will be updated for that for, for RimWorld? I think it's going to be enough. Oh, I have forgotten my bones. sucked away too. Good, good. You're actually going through some of your now and there have been a lot that have been already updated. Oh, that's good. That is good. It's good to hear. Oh, you know what I should have done? Repaired. Oh, the steel is done over here. Or is it?
You know what I should do? I should probably just switch that up for that one. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Up. Oh. oh. I must have something which is automatically blocking. Is that possible? Uh, Maybe it's the avoidance one. Oh. Quite possibly avoidance. The weird thing is, it's staggering them. Well, are you in God mode by any chance? I don't think so. I mean, I never typed it. How would I know? Like, I've seen it as well with my crossbow, where I just randomly parry an attack without pulling any of the key down. Do you have anything that uh, increases dodge? Uh, probably. Yeah. Type God. You drunk raptor. <laughs> Have you had too many too many drinks at the bar with with Daddy and Lumberjack and Bradford? Okay. Okay. They, you hear, well, well, that's Sam, not you know the, the a lot more target. being made you once. Yes. Apparently, it's launching the tar off the top at high velocity and phasing through the roof of the building. Ahead of I guess you'll have to find out, Raptor. <laughs> happened walking by and I noticed the tar on the roof. Off the top of the roof and then like 200 pieces. Uh, you could always <laughs> you could always put on top of the roof you could put a uh... I have a box that's at the bottom. I'm surprised a box or a I have been known to, to drop the odd the Maybe expletive once or twice. Maybe Respect. we're playing with the <laughs> How big's the box? I just don't get why the box is 
Do you have an one of the tar in the box? It's got 462 in the box. It, it has been, uh, has been known. Just put it on top, put the box on top. It feels like it should be a copper stage, but we're way beyond that. I, I'm, I, I tell you what, after my last trip into the, the Mistlands, I'm a little bit scared. Just made it out. The completely legitimate. <laughs> How's everyone's uh, weekend been anyway? Has everyone's weekend been good? I'm sure Raptors has been good fun. Happy birthday if you're still here. It was pretty cool seeing you at the, the conference table yesterday. Was that a new experience for you, Raptor? Was that kind of like a little bit, a little bit scary? Oh yeah, what did you get up to, uh, what did you get up to, uh, Bart? First time and yes. I could tell you were a little bit, it was, I get the feeling that there was a lot going on there. A lot of feelings. All good though, all good feelings. I don't know how I would it. How many people were there, like, in watching you in that conference? That's the thing, right? I don't know how I'd feel about that, because I'm one of these people that gets stage fright. Like, I, I was never good at drama at school or anything like that. Oh, a 20? Oh, okay, it's not too bad then. But, like, um, I was one of these people that I did drama at school. And the idea of standing up in front of, like, a, hundreds of people or something and doing something was just scared the absolute... Well, it just freaked me out. It freaked me out! And, like, I don't know why, but streaming is different. Like, I, d I don't get that feeling, like, there could be hundreds of people in chat, there could be, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, you don't get that same feeling of, like, hundreds of eyes looking at you. Or it, at least it's not in the same way. The best folks to come and join you. 
Well, yeah, I mean, you had, um, you had Dirty and, and Lumberjack, and they were probably just making fun of you the whole time, and, uh, <laughs> Okay, I need to, uh, get some food and drink in me. What do we want here? Uh, that'll do. I don't want anything major. Security took care of them. <laughs> I just having this. What did you make sure that they had the full cavity options or something? You better can't use my legs make sure that you. you <laughs> Make sure you really check these guys out thoroughly. <laughs> they need it. Wow, a five-star aggressive Grey Dwarf just attacked me. I still one-hit him. Hit with a big steel, magical steel axe, you'd be. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it happens. He's two. You know, steel is in that strange tier between iron and black. Silvers between iron and black metal. Nice. Oh, that was that was Surface. a ton. I think I'm gonna drop that off now. That was a crazy amount of uh, stone and wood. I just hope that I get a, an invite to the next one, Raptor. I'm just curious. I hope so. Just so I know about it. And Skin I'll put time stars. off. Curious. So they, they like to come around. Human settlements and humans doing whatever it is that humans do. And sit there and go, what you doing, huh? <laughs> right. I'm a with my stick. Hey, that looks cool. What is it? Can you show me how to do that? It's the purple star. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Um. I can't recall. It's probably something unpleasant. Now the locals are all angry. Oh, and they were dumb enough to try and catch me by swimming through a carpet.
DJ, how are you doing with your packing up? Or have you kind of like stopped for the time being? Because you know you're going to have to wait out for a bit. Hello. 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 Like to be on in a few minutes. She's running uptown. Ooh. I just got done with supper. So she's actually with us this evening. Ooh, uh, bonus. Yeah, she's on spring break, so. She oh wants, yeah. She's going back uh, tomorrow night. Yay, so I get a night with Lexi. You do. The star of the show. You're the star of the no, show. No, 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 she's the star of the show. <laughs> she, she is a star. She's beautiful. I think I hear her. So, Red is extremely excited that he gets to spend the evening with you. Yes, good. Which one? It should have been still hanging up there because um, it fell down from it. Well, that looks fun to play with. Don't you run? Or start regenerating chaos if you preserve it. All right, let's go down digging. Have you got an idea for your first playthrough, um, uh, Mark? Then for anomaly. I feel like this is the biggest piece of copper I've ever seen, but in reality, it's probably not. But you could vein mine it and find out. I could what? Vein mine it. Hold left alt and then put your pickaxe on it while holding alt. Wait, what, what does that do then? Vein mines it. It'll consume durability of your pickaxe equivalent to the amount mined. And it speeds up mining exponentially. Oh, I'm just digging around underneath it. I'm going to dig out the whole thing. Yeah. Mine does that for you without having to clear all the Oh, right. okay. Uh, what do you what do you press? Hold left alt and click while holding left alt. The skill of game mining is scale based off your pickaxe skill level as well as your quality of your pickaxe. That way it's not super overpowered, but at the same time it's... Ah, that's the reason why. There's, it's only a thin layer of copper at the top here. It's like it's hollow or something. Okay, I'm going to keep on digging around then. 
works on anything, any deposit, stone, um, iron in the tombs. Uh, That's cool stuff. though. Modes to bane mine by default. One is progressive, which is what we've been able to do, and the other one is just super mode. I got you. So we set it up for progressive, that way it's not super overtuned or anything. So in the early game, it doesn't do a whole lot, so you're doing a lot more manual labor, but as you upgrade your technology, it performs more and more efficiently. Right. How you been, Red? I mean, good. From the one I've done, a six star aggressive. You don't have one of those orange stones in your belt, do you? I do. Yeah. What do you mean I'm not a hellbuck for this? I've got 300. Yeah, even with the pierce resistance of the chest, the uh, the five star was fucking huge. Oh, well, he tickles. Well, yeah. You have any idea what, how many, what kind of damage bonus he gets per star? That dude only hits me for like 0.5 damage. This guy's hitting me for 30. Yeah. Yeah, I probably have to do that. I will probably have to uh, do a normal playthrough and then go from there. As much as I would love to do a themed playthrough for that, I think there's probably just too much. Too much stuff. I wish I could make some construction card. I think it's so fun to do building camps by loading the buildings and fire. Giant 
So how many people are enjoying this uh, Valheim playthrough with uh, with all these mods? Are you enjoying it? What, do you think it's enjoyable watching? Like watching me trying to work out my inventory management, working out all the kind of stuff. What are your thoughts okay. on it? Halfway done. underneath of you how many people are planning on joining us that's another thing how many people are planning to join us on the next bell harm plan free with the ashlands all over them. Oh no, they have eyes. They have six eyes. Oh, those little white things are... Okay. I'm, st I'm still in mourning. I don't know what happened to Commander. I'm really sad. Wait, your horse died? Not no, the, the horse. A wolf. We don't know what oh. happened. I just came on one day and he was gone, but there was like no body or anything. Oh no. Uh, he was not easy to tame either. I came across a body. That's frustrating. That one would have taken a long time to tame. <laughs> You like watching right. you build rather than actually doing something like, I don't know, mining copper? Yeah, I know, I know. Mining Smuggling copper is not going to be the most entertaining. Unfortunately, I need the copper in order to build stuff to make sure that I'm up to date with all my... Uh, Myself up to the surface here. I need to get some more uh, crafting benches and stuff. Skills in my skill list have been rearranged. No longer alphabetical. Any idea what I called that? Cause of sin? Do what? In my skills menu. They're no longer alphabetical. They've all been rearranged. and pull up your skills. For example, my building skill was near the top. Oh. 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 There she is, little Miss Lexi. Hi. Hello. Lexi, Here's the star, the star of the show. She's here. No pressure, Lexi. No pressure. 
she was such a big help for dinner. Oh, what she did you killed. have for dinner? I had hamburger steaks uh, and gravy and mashed potatoes and uh, collard greens. Nice. She peeled all the potatoes and set the table and she was awesome help. I've been really like I, I started so up a career the mode. Steaks taste like they're homemade like Salisbury steaks. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh yeah. Old school. Red, it's your birthday. You got a, a top the tier Steam really Deck. June and June Messiah Folio Social Collect. Uh, wow, that's cool. Old school. A happy birthday. That's awesome. Oh man. What a birthday treat. So you can play Steam games wherever you want to now. No excuses. That's it now. You can't get away. I didn't expect that, but oh man. Really? So does that mean that oh, your whole Steam collection you now did, can be played uh, pretty much? We did oh. another uh, mod and it puts little bird houses on it and it's got... I'll show you those. Yeah, you were freaking out yesterday about them. You were so excited. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, li I like that. them. They are somebody in the voice.
How do you certain games like Valheim can be played on a Steam Deck? Some devs are adapting the game to the deck. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you seen Thor driving across the sky during one of these storms yet? No. Oh, no, I haven't. No, no, no I have not either. To be fair, I might be, might have been like, not looking in the right places anyway. I've been in a deep hole for a while. <laughs> <coughs> Bronze plate things. Oh, still Ford's mates. Oh, hello. All right, be right back a sec, but I better close the door, I think, before I get attacked. And a back. Welcome back. I too much stuff on me. You know it. And here's a fueling reading for you. Pick that just to have more bronze. If you guys are wondering why I'm dodging all the time, it's because they added a mod on which, um, when you press or double click WASD. Uh, one of the WASD keys, you actually uh, will automatic dodge now. So, uh, 
I feel like it, it might be a little bit sensitive, but I'd rather be it oversensitive than, than not enough. Oh my god, there's so many of these guys. I'm so tired. Come on. Come on. Has he built a house yet? Uh, on her and my server, uh, we didn't have her come on the community, or this oh, one. Okay. She, I, she's gonna come on the community one, I think, maybe? Yeah, I got you. Oh yeah, there's a lot of mods on this one. Well, I mean, she does mods. We we have oh, a bunch okay, of yeah. mods, and she's actually pretty familiar with them. Cool. Yeah, her and I uh, have a modded server, and she's uh, the one that I did my uh, treehouse. Oh and yeah, yeah. And she uh, she built amazing, actually, and decorates it real nice. One of her favorite things to do. She loves Valheim. It's her favorite thing. What all did you build, Lex? In my Valheim server? Yeah. Church, bakery, house, tavern, and like a town hall type thing. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, that is pretty big. I think I did two more things, but I don't remember them. Oh, your barn. Oh yeah, my barn and the conjuring place thing. I don't know what it's called. Oh, um, it's a place where you do your alchemy and stuff. Yeah, big word. That's okay. Cash in on all those 75 cent cards that you can. Right now she's playing House Flippers. I apologize. This, this is, uh, this is uh, going to be a little bit slow and maybe a little bit tedious. I'm trying to get out this uh, big old chunk of... Uh, at the same time, though, it's satisfying.
through this stuff. Oh my God. Now I'm having to offload again. Okay, let's see if we can break down this bronze pickaxe. Raptor is streaming right now. What is he streaming? Hell divers? I need to get rid of all these uh, metal weapons. I can't do anything with the steel ones. Still, well, I've got a bunch down the bottom there, too. Create some more space again. Pull out the helmet. That'll do there. Ah, oh, great. What is this? So we got a steel forged sword, a steel forged dagger, fire wood bow. Let's get the fire wood bow. Hornet. Wow. I don't know why the Hornet looks good. Steel, steel. get another flint axe. Chip chest. There we go. Get better. Hey DC in chat. Get 
kidding me? Come on, get down there. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. There we go. He's just talking about his trip. You're drowning. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, that's all I've been doing all spring. <laughs> just going on down, trying to dig out underneath there, drowning, coming back up. Hey, Iceman Neo. Yeo, Iceman Yeo. Sorry. I'm almost done though, I think. Oh yeah? I am doing something so fun right now. I am terraforming. <laughs> oh, that's so mad. oh really? Yeah. Ter terrible. Has General been on today? I haven't seen um, him. He was earlier in the day uh, after the server fired up. Enjoy it. Is he still yeah. feeling unwell? I'm not too certain about that. We didn't. We didn't brief. That's it. It did not come up in conversation. Right. Yeah, I got so hooked to playing Battletech last night. Man. I started playing on the career mode. And I was like, this is great. I, I, I can just... What happened to Mark? Yeah, what did happen to Mark? He's probably playing... He's probably got sucked away playing something. Maybe. I don't know.
Bernice, what do you think about your mum modding then? I love it. I do like it. It's fun, I get to interact. It's very nice. What does Lexi think about it? She... Lexi. Huh? He wants to know what you think about me being a moderator. It's cool. <laughs> she said it's cool if you didn't hear it. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are, we are blessed to have Lexi with us tonight. It is spring break, so we get to have some fun with uh, Lexi too. Now, she's not playing with us on the server, but it's Your always nice to have her red. around. What's that? Your poor tune. My poor... Oh, yeah. I know I'm slowly drowning in every five minutes, if that. Hello Red, I'm a first time subscribe to your channel, well thank you very much Charles Zio, that would be, uh, I would uh, be most blessed by that. <laughs> oh my. Thank you much for the five bomb there. Woohoo! Tyler, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that a great deal. It's very accurate. I'm glad that you've been paying attention to things. I haven't even played Cold of the Lands new update. It's my like definitely one of my favorite games. Yeah. Mm. 
Lexi and I are waiting for them to finally do the update on uh, Planet Crafter, where it's going to be co-op. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait, and she can't That's wait. That's a good game. Yeah, it is. She likes Dinkum, too. Yeah, Dinkum's pretty good. Keep being chased by those birds. They don't like me. Let's see. Uh, she also plays Ranch Simulator. She plays, um. There's so many games we have. Overcooked. She loves that. She also plays, uh. What is it? Golf with Friends we play? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, and Parkitect. Man, she loves Parkitect. Let's get all good games. Yep. When you and Bluebell started playing, um, what was that one where you guys had to work together on the puzzles? You and Bluebell. Oh, yeah. Don't start. Uh, not we, start we were start, here um, or something. Yep, that's the one, yeah. We got all of those and started doing those too. You've cost me a lot of money because I play a lot of the games that you I'm sorry. Did. I'm sorry. And then it's a double because I have to get Fargo. <laughs> Okay, it didn't smash you, smash you all the way to the bottom for some reason. We recently bought that uh, supermarket one that uh, Raptor had been playing too. Yeah, quite a lot of people have been playing it and I'm like... Mm, I don't know whether... Have you been enjoying it? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's got a couple little bugs, but it's still like in, you know, early access and stuff. But, um, it's, it's fun. It's What a way this hasn't exploded into a million pieces yet, though. Nothing's touching it. Is it just too close? Or is it the water that's causing it to be a pain? on top red yeah um, 
and get to hit the ones that are real close. Um, a lot of times it thinks that it's still attached, even though it's not, and eventually you will, uh, it will explode. Uh-oh. Well, I've got stuff floating now, so... Yeah. Gonna have to drop it off. You can hear crows when you fire this bow. What the? Huh? <laughs> There's a, a bow here that says you can hear crows when you fire it. Okay. <laughs> That's a new one. You need bigger gaps between the node and dirt. Okay. We will work on that. I thought it was a lot better, but... Oh yeah, there, there could be some spots up here. Blaming on Lexi Red. Okay. Yeah, today is just playing everything on Lexi Day. <laughs> Who's responsible for global warming? Lexi. Who's responsible for boy bands? Lexi. Lexi. The reason the rent is too damn high, Lexi. Oh, that's for sure, Lexi.
your stream red is also educational purposes. Yeah. How not to drown in Valheim. <laughs> hey, I haven't drowned once. I haven't it died is, to drowning. It serves it serves several purposes. <laughs> what you should not do. Not <laughs> only not only is he mining underwater and using tools. <laughs> But he's gaining skill at using a pickaxe yeah. and swimming. That's true. Yeah, it is. Oh, Is that axe. my axe? Yeah. <laughs> so the bad news is I've got floating pieces here now. Yes. Your, no, your bags are full. Or you're at your weight not, limit. Not, not yet. Are you at your weight limit? Oh, if he no. was at his weight limit, oh. he'd be in trouble. Oh, yeah. Really yeah, that's, that's trouble. That's true. I better drop some stuff off. Too many enemies. They yeah. just keep on wanting to die. <laughs> Come hang over Thread. He will kill you. And it's bold of them to come out here in this little clearing. Right. How did you like the Mistlands? Uh, that was fun. It was uh, fun when I got attacked by a tick and it latched on. <laughs> and I couldn't get rid of it. <laughs> did you uh, get to see the uh, big mama of the tick? I do not think so. Oh, I can't wait for you to see that and hear no. that. They make a very distinctive sound when approaching. Uh, yes. And if absolutely. you pay close attention, the mist changes color. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yes. When they're close by, the mist changes color to match the color of the light emitting from underneath them. That's interesting. how you definitely know that it's close by when you see the red glow. Like, see, would you like a soda? Oh, or do you want it? Are you have your Gatorade still? Do you want a soda? What kind you want? Okay, it looks like I can't drop up anymore there. Disappointed with Gatorade? It's not made with real gators. <laughs> um. <laughs> Neither are Girl Scout cookies, imagine. That's true. Oh my goodness. False Don't advertising. Quit. Don't get Lexi giggling, she'll never quit. You know what happens when you put a baby into uh, oh. a hydraulic press? You get two things, baby oil and baby powder. Oh 
my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I need my face slap emoji. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to drop some stuff off at Gems or Us. Ought to try cleaning the meat room. Those people make lazy teenagers appear neat and tidy. You will all have to forgive me. I have a very dark and demented sense of humor most times. So. I, I know, Mr. Sinister. I That's why you fit in here. Every day. <laughs> Every day I hang out with you. That's exactly <laughs> why you fit in. <laughs> There's just some things I have to laugh about. Oh, I, yeah. I, I'd be busy sitting on the rooftop screaming. <laughs> yeah. Ah, a simple comfort item and soaper. I wonder if that's one for here. I hope that's Comfortium. Oh, that's our first one. First one of the row. Ruby comfort item. That's down here. We haven't done that one yet. The Humite Comfortium. Humite, I think, is a th yes. So we'll put that one in. Did here. I finally finish Terraform? Finally. Okay, do I have any others? Nope, I seem to be pretty good. All right, let's see if we can do any more Shumite stuff. Uh, there's a Shumite. There's a Shumite. There's one more, Shumite Onyx. There it is. Confordium, that should be down here. Actually, that's the last one. Remote Spinal. You might compensate. You might sofa. I think Miss Lexi's going through a growth spurt because she is eating like her brothers right now. Ooh. She needs to knock it off or I'm going to ground her because she is not allowed <laughs> to grow up. You are not allowed to grow up anymore. Red, green, and a red, yellow, green. So, about the middle of next month, I will be turning 30 with 27 years of experience at it. Nice. Nice. Same here. 
in a month's time, roughly. Mm. I did that wrong. That goes there. Red, yellow, green. Purple, orange. There we go. If we do that every time, it won't it won't be so bad. Oh, it's all misty. Honestly, I do feel like these uh, still weapons are a bit OP.
All right, let's try this little corner here. Again. Welcome back. Much tasty food. You can have your fancy colored things. Let me see. I got my next fat new hair. Actually, you know what? Let's do the. Uh, uh, let's do this. Ah. Oh. It's a way of turning that sensitivity down for that double roll. Um. Yes. Is that like client side or? It's server side. Uh, okay. Yeah, it seems to be if I'm... Uh, yeah, it's sh it, most people are probably okay with it. It's just me. Well, oh, no, I, 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 I goof up it. every once in a while because my, my finger slips. And, yeah, I'll, I'll do a roll. Nine times out of ten, it's a good thing. Other times, not so much. That was just me pushing forwards. I don't know why I rolled. There we go. Here we go. Close to going overweight as well. Oh my god, that was a uh, slowdown.
Do the ancient shades look weird, like being out of the swamp? I'm not sure if you can grow them. Oh, can you not grow them? I don't know, you can plant them. I'm not sure if I'd want that in the meadows because it's a spawner. Oh, yeah, that's true. Which is fun. Yeah, what does this spawn? Swamp critters. I mean, do you, do you really want Draugr dropping in on the regular night? Or in trails. <laughs> Just surround the tree with Callisto, you'll be fine. Oh my, look at all this stuff. I literally just got rid of all this. Picking that for the vampire. Or her head. <laughs> yeah, the amount of stuff that I'm getting is absolutely ridiculous. I know. I'm, I'm constantly going and. The thing is, is all it, it's all dropping in steel now, and I don't have the stuff to get rid of it. I'm. Um, I need the. I need one Simon of the does. things. Yeah, I know. Um, so does. Um, General, general does as well, but uh, it involves traveling. Huzzah! Really? I just walked through a bunch of dandelion? No, it's still... It's still
that was fun. A six star Grey Dwarf. Yeah, but it was a white one. Oh my god, I'm getting stun locked oh, here. No. Oh wow, another three. Oh wow, Shaman now too. They are. Whoa, they are huge. I'm okay. Yep, I'm full of loot. <laughs> I just got back here. I just oh, got great. back. Boy, are my arms tight. Like, it's almost pointless me dropping any uh, wood, right? like, cutting any woods down. Look, I gained a hundred and... two hundred and thirty odd wood from that. How do you think I'm able to make such big belts? <laughs> right? All the stone and wood that I get, it's awesome. If you close the backpack and control left click on the items, you'll rapidly drop them on the floor. Okay. Same could be said if you want to put it into your backpack. Control click, I'll just rapidly transition it. Okay, I got you. My trophies are ending up in there. Oh, this is a I had things attacking my farm and the cows. Oh, and the cows, man. That was close. They're vicious? Pretty, yeah.
protect the milk? up again I think I made it a whole wood pile it doesn't take long when you're fighting an army of great horde no can't wait till morning so that they just stop bothering me Is this one? I see a sign at. I can do something with them. It, it's full. Time flies when you're having fun.
Oh, Val, uh, looks like Simon's still trying to get into Valheim. I wonder if he's having troubles. He's having the same mission as he had earlier today. Yeah, for some reason it created a, a new one for me from the last update. I, I didn't understand that, so... I just ended up, uh, redoing it on the old one, re-updating it and doing it that way, and it worked for me. Okay, cleared it out. Probably have more, uh, copper than I ever need. Two-handed forged hammer. We'll take that one. Seven ballista should be enough for a gateway here. Does it automatically fire? If there's an enemy around you. <laughs> What's the range on it? Not as good as I would like. You also have to manually load them. They don't oh, yeah, them. you said that, yeah. Hello. 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 How's everyone doing? Doing good, thank you. Hello. And was my mic stuck on again? Yes. Uh, Dang it! Ah, I'm sorry. That's okay. We're just gonna say that was a uh, a uh, airlock sound. That's you are like, grounded. Yeah. That's an airlock. Uh, that that it was not any other any other sound. So you're good. <laughs> I despise how it keeps locking up my mic like that. I don't. I oh, know. Oh, do you hear little giggles in the background? Maybe. We have a mysterious, uh... Mysterious guest stranger? Star yeah, mysterious guest star tonight. Don't judge yes. my people. More settling cores are needed. On you too. You're the one who keeps saying everything's her fault. Oh, it is. No, it's not. It's silent. You can't be in the club if you, you don't sign up for the It's Alexi's Fault Day. It's, you just you gotta you gotta go with it. Hey, look, now they're all spawning. So what y'all doing? Uh, collecting coal, uh, collecting, uh, copper. No, you need copper. Oh, uh, not anymore. <laughs> I see. I'm just picking up some coal. This area definitely needs junk. Swamp. Swamp. Did you get the certain spawners going? Oh yeah, they're definitely going. I have never seen such a large spring.
Yep, I just picked up like a ton of uh, coal. There you go. We need all the coal for. Oh, the uh, copper that I just uh, mined out. It's definitely more efficient than waiting on the. Oh yeah. Who raised the terrain around the flame spurts, anyway? Who raised it or erased it? Who raised it, as in elevated it? Right. You're doing it wrong. Section of the swamp you in? Uh, the north, the north one, northeast. So, Matt, are you building a home up there? And Not your yet. mountaintop villa? Eventually, we'll have Castle Grayskull. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm working on Minas Morgul over here, so yeah. Are you doing uh, black marble? Uh, black marble, uh, kind of gray marble. Hey, marble. <laughs> There, there is a mod for white marble blocks, but uh, we don't have it. There we go. I've now picked up enough coal to do everything. Ooh, soul catcher lantern. Yes, please. So now the fact that I can see that again yeah. implies it's working. Well, I've been able to see it for a couple of days. Cool. Always, always a good time. Let's get rid of that bronze pickaxe. From the iron stain now. From his plate leggings. And there we go. We might make a couple of trips here, actually, thinking about it. Finish the mage tower. Okay, here we go. We want to switch that with there. We want to switch that into there. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. That. And I hope we want to keep that.
Well, that's unfortunate. Mm. What's that? Mm, my s oh, wait, never mind. It's still here, yay. I thought my soul lantern was broken again. Yeah, I, d I lost my one from the, the last mess up. But I just gained one, so I'm happy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Well, now I'm here. Still forged mace, so I want to keep that mace. Potential. Oh, look, there is one. Actually, that miscreant is a pretty good shield. We kind of messed up there, chat. Oh, hang on a second. I think we stopped. I thought I saw one. Have a good All right, good night. See ya. Actually, let's pull up my inventory as I'm going over that way. Ah, I think I found the problem. Red? Yeah? Do, do you want to come over here real quick and, and view this insanity? Uh, give me a second and yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you should definitely come over here and check this out. Okay. I'm sitting here wondering why why is it lagging so bad? I found the problem. Hmm. I think I, <laughs> I think I 
sure it is. Alright, I'm coming over to your place then. Where? Or is it Nisi's? Uh, just, just come directly to me. You'll, you'll see. Where, where are you on the map? Sorry, I'm in the portal screen. Am I not? Uh, am I not viewable? I'm, I'm near the, um, the bakery. Oh yeah, yeah. At I Nisi's. See Oh my, what is going on with all these bulls? <laughs> Did they get out? No, these are these are natural boars. They have not been tamed. And, and look how many freaking white stars there are. Yeah. Do you know for how this... many times I have went in and killed all of them? I just did it the other yesterday. Oh, is that is because of the boar spawner, isn't it? Yes. For the sake of the realm red, we have to kill all of them. No way. Yeah. Oh my god. Slaughter them so red. much meat. I get. Oh my god. What is Bro it's boar valley? Kill them, Red. Kill them. What, can you not kill them? Leave nothing laggy? alive. Hang on, I need some stamina. I just want to say that this isn't going down too popular in my chat. Sorry! <laughs> you don't understand we have an epidemic. The game the game will eventually crash if we don't keep these under control. It's kinda of funny. Why don't you just destroy the spawner? You can you destroy can't. it? No. You can bury it and it'll still pop back up. It'll still be there. What happens if you only had a small island of them? Like if you surrounded it with water and dug it down deep. Would they it's just spawn on still... one I think another? we'd have swimming pigs, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Does anyone want some sausage or bacon? Oh, oh my god, the amount of stuff. I just got rid of all this. <laughs> it's okay, you can drop it off at the. Uh... Hello? Look at that, look, I, ju I just got here again. Now they're spawning even more. Yes. I can't even pick it up anymore. I was not prepared for this amount of pigs. I felt a disturbance in the force, like a thousand boar souls being slaughtered for their meat. <laughs> that would be accurate. It's not for their meat, it's for the sake of the uh, the server. Yeah. Is there a bunny in the air? Yes, yes there, there is. is, yeah. Okay. It's an Odin rabbit, he's flying. I gotta I... drop all this uh, meat off of the bakery, I guess. Yeah, you, you can drop it there. <laughs> pork pies, anyone? Oh, I'd love oh, pork man. pie. It runs so much better now. <laughs> I can actually move. Get back here. Anyone want some boar trophies? 
<laughs> it's not shootable. I may I mean it may have already been killed, but the server just can't catch up. That is funny though. Uh, speaking of cleanup, um, you know, friendly server announcement. Uh, we have the cleanup on the server again. So, things that are left on the ground outside of your bases will get auto deleted after 60 minutes. Okay. So, no more, you know, like going into a battlefield from two days ago and still seeing all the uh, weapons on the ground from in the gym chests anymore. Those. Those will all go away. Now, inside your bases, we have that currently disabled. So. But that should help a little bit, too. That's cool. But as to how to prevent a thousand pigs from spawning, um, not sure on that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's worth a try, Simon. It. Maybe this will corral them. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Now there's another escapee up here. Yeah, I got one a minute ago, too. Didn't want to try to use the, the regular thing. Yep. Do you still need a Mjolnir? Or excuse me, a Frostner. Uh, no. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, now they grow in power. Oh, they did it twice. I seen it while you, uh, we were fighting. Uh, where's your black? Oh, there it is. What's your black? It's over here. The... I may pop over tomorrow and there's some object remove commands. I may see if I can tell it to remove that stone. Um, actually, you can move the stone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Removing look, it or moving look, it, either look one. In, or... Look into that one. Gotta remember, okay. these are tied in with rune magic. Oh, okay, that's right, yeah. Anyway, I've been uh, out here, you know, watching the stream, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> so. Yeah, the amount of uh, stupid amount of creatures that have been attacking me all the time. Yeah, and you, you made that monster lake over there, too, which literally is a monster lake, because all the monsters seem to want to go swimming in it, so... Well, once he gets done mining, he gets to, uh... Oh, yeah, I've done now. Use the hoe and restore the terrain map. Well, yeah, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> you may have to swim around down at the bottom to make certain that there is nothing down there. Right. Did we fix the, uh... The quenching barrel problem? No, working. that's that's still an underlying uh, that's still an underlying mod problem with the actual mod itself. Gotcha. The the fix the same cat figured out to do with it, which is you know kind of interesting. Of course, you have to have twice as much stuff as he just built. Um, two steel of forges, and one gets the. One gets the quench tank, and the other one gets the rest of the stuff. And that way, and he put them on opposite sides of his building. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, granted, you still, I mean, you won't get the, the one bench, won't get the full upgrade or anything, but I don't think that really matters. 
so... Yeah. Wait, I just picked up some oxidized steel. Did I, do you need that? Not at all. I'm confused as to where it came from. I got a bunch of... I don't even know where that came from. You have it back. I got a bunch of finished steel if you want it. <laughs> Why would you want oxidized steel? Wouldn't that be rusty? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> It, yeah, it's it's the steel that's cold, but it's not. Uh, yeah, it's just it's kind of a weird. It thing. hasn't been. It hasn't gone through case hardening yet. Yeah. Well, it actually has. It's just it's cold again. Is what they is how it is how the mod portrays it in certain. So like if you fully that's, quench that's it. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> yeah, I know. In real life, yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. So. so the question what? is, are you feeling better lately? Oh yeah, I'm feeling much better. Awesome. Good. good. I've just been like, eh, I don't feel like doing anything. I actually felt, you know, good enough that I wanted to watch some TV. So I watched, uh, so I watched both the first and the second Aquaman last night. Cool. So. Just haven't been in a, well, been more tied up with streaming with you guys than anything. So I've been, my backlog of TV shows and movies to watch is okay, sort you. of out of control. <laughs> okay. I'm just dropping a bunch of that forged steel off of your house. Finished steel, sorry. <laughs> Have fun. I'm getting so much of it, I just don't know what to do with it. Uh huh. Yeah, it was at one point, it was duplicating itself too. No, it's still doing oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have that in the barn save. But for some reason on this map, in addition to the whole, we're going to send everything back and forth like the mod's been doing, all, even on the air save, is that we now randomly get it duplicating everything. And I'm like, I don't understand why. And at one point, those things would stack in the chests on the other save, but on this save, they won't stack. So I'm like, I... yeah. The, the more we play around, the, the more I'm like, I don't know if that mod really is... needed in the end. Which mod? Oh, Odin Steelworks. Mm. I mean, it, it's nice having the that much stuff but as we found that like we have to manually adjust like all the uh oh is what sinister and i've been doing over the last what, week uh a lot of the mods instead of like coming in with like reasonable settings when they yeah. load up on the server everything it's is 100 percent yeah yep so there's 130 weapons recipes in that mod yeah and in order to edit those recipes, you have to have another mod. So that way you can you can edit those recipes and feed it back to the other mod. I'm sorry, going. Yeah. That's yeah, that's a hurts. little little cumbersome there. And even then, you know, if we do get them all switched, then because black metal stuff's supposed to be more, you know, steel is supposed to be a side thing. Yeah. Kind of like silver is, and then and silver's actually in the game. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those it fits a, it fits a niche area before you move up, and 
It's like, yeah, we, we had, you know, if I feel like steel was a good fit. If we had tried it out like, you know, a year ago or so, I don't know if it has much of a, a good fit for. Uh, yeah, for, genuinely, it feels a little bit OP. Yeah, and the amount of Just effort we're going to put in to fix it. Yeah. So it, it may actually get cut. I mean, we did remove about seven, six or seven mods in the last thing of things that just have been broken and this and that that we've disabled. Right. So that way it's left out there. I got you. If it wasn't for all like, you know, the random boars spawning everywhere and the, you know, the 15 million gray dwarfs that we get, um, I almost turned on Renegade Vikings again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Now they could be fun. It is, I mean, it's like now we have the weapons to deal with that stuff, but the problem is, though, is now we got everything else being... It's like, uh... Even though we just add a whole bunch of performance mods to it, I'm like, I don't want to... I don't want to change 20 million things at once. Let's turn one or yeah. two knobs at a time and... Right. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Odin Campsite. The server uh -huh. config, we need to sh disable the terrain uh, thing on the tents. Oh, okay. Because it's playing hell with anything that's been terraformed with uh, advanced uh, terraforming. All right. All right, give me a minute. I'll, I'm going to disconnect from here. I'll join the computer and see what... Uh... I'll look at that real quick. Roger, roger. Dark Mayu, hi, how's it going? Good to see you. And I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And that was a good show back in the day, too. It's on Tubi. I was going to say, not that I watched it when it came out, because I wasn't, I don't think I was born when it was actually on. I was born well before. Let me see. I'm curious now. <laughs> I watched it when it was on, like, TV Land and Nick at Night and things like that. So when did it actually come out? Oh, yeah. 1975 to 79. Yeah. I wasn't born until 83. So, yeah. The year before I enlisted in the army. Alright, so we need to look at. Oh, uh, something since the server restarted. The, the big bronze chest and the big iron chest. I adjusted their 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 sizes. But it needed us. It is one of those things that the server only reads that file and so it doesn't sync it with everybody. So I don't know. It worked for me. Okay, they are bigger now. That's good. I didn't actually the black bronze. Sorry, the the bronze. Which ones did you say? Sorry. The the big bronze and the big iron. Okay, the big bronze and the big iron. I have well, at least the big bronze. I haven't noticed. I don't think they've changed. Okay, they may they they should have, but we'll have to see. Or or that may be one of those things that because it's not doesn't use server sync that it's like everybody has to have the yeah, same. Yeah, the file. big bronze has not changed. It's still saying twenty four, but the black metal chest has gone up to fifty six now. Okay, it, it yeah it should have 
we made, uh, I made changes to both of those. That are through Odin Architects, so evidently that's interesting. Okay. So. See, and this is why we are trying stuff out for this ever. Can you tell me about the gems and what are they? What are they used for? Okay. Yes, I can tell you all about the gems. So, each of these items that you're getting, like, for example, this iron pickaxe, right? If you go down to here, I could try and increase the abilities that are on this. So, like, for example, there, this is a basic iron pickaxe, right? Save me some. Okay. I'll mail it to you. Can't guarantee it will be any good when it gets there, though. This is a, uh, I guess, what is the way, best way of doing this? This one is a utility item. Actually, I think it tells you on that. Two, same two-handed weapon or tool tier. It's probably a classed as a tool. There we go. It's a tool. So, um, what happens is, first of all, if you were making something from scratch, like we've got here, we've got an iron pickaxe. Now, if I go into the table here, If I go to socket, I can pick, and if I go down and pick that uh, uh, iron pickaxe, terrain declare. Right? Okay, so terrain modifier is currently set to fall. I have an eighty-six percent chance to add a socket. If this fails, the Turn item will the be destroyed. So basically, so you have should, a certain percentage chance of should not succeeding so in gaining should a slot in it. So, for example, yeah. this one here, okay. that's, that's this one's got a slot in it. If you At the bottom, you careful, can see the gem. Set down a tent. At the moment, it says on, green under no effect, but this has okay. one gem in it. Yeah, so it is that has one in gem in it. So basically, for, for me to make so. this kind of equal to them, or to this one, which has got five sockets in, right? So those sockets, for me to get that iron pickaxe up to that level is going to be really, really tough. There's going to be a very hard chance of me breaking it. I think it has like an 86% chance on the first one. Then it's like 76 on the next one. Then it's like 66 or something. I'm making these numbers up, but it is pretty close. So 66, then it goes like 56. Uh, basically, it, it almost turns into a 50-50 chance on the last one. Um, and that depends on your gem crafting skill. Now my jewel, or oh sorry, jewel crafting. My jewel crafting is 35, which is, it's all right. It's not great. You know, as the skills go up to like a hundred, I'm, I'm like about a third of the way there. Now, once you've got the socket in it, you are free to change gems in and out of it. Now each of the gems do different things. So like, let's say for example, um, oh, I haven't got one here. So let's pick up this um, perfect sapphire here, right? This is an example. So we have this perfect example, and it tells you what it does, depending on what it's slotted into. So, for example, if this is slotted into a utility item, it's going to give it a glowing spirit 8, which actually kind of does what I've got hovering around my head right now. Gives you like a, a percent chance of getting a glowing spirit to help you around for like eight minutes or something. If you put this into a shield, then it gives unfazed 20. Now unfazed 20, have I got unfazed on here? Okay, so I've got unfazed 10 on my weapon. So what that does is it increases stagger threshold. So that means if I do block with it, it increases that threshold for me to be able to hit them back so each of the gems do different things so like this and not only do each of the gems do different things each of the gems do something different depending on where they're slotted so like if it's slotted into a crossbow it's going to do like elemental chaos damage into a bow again elemental chaos into a chest though it gives hit points um into legs it gives you nimble 30 which probably helps with stamina uh, and the head merciful death actually helps you from not losing any of your skills when you die. So each of these things 
there's lots of different things. But one thing you'll see here, it doesn't give you a boost at all. So say like if we were trying to put that into the iron pickaxe, that means it would be absolutely useless if we had a slot on it. So what we do then is obviously that, that gem is useless, right? So we, we can just chuck that on the floor. But let's say, for example, we want um, Unbreakable, which is a good effect. We need to um, actually put in like a purple gem. So the purple gem, so we, we pick up our perfect purple gem. And then we would slot that. That gives you a Unbreakable 60. So that would mean, like, so, so here's an example. I'm actually going to do it here because this actually shows um, that I would actually be better with the iron pickaxe there. So what I'm going to do is we are going to press E to socket. Okay, so we're bringing up now. These are all the sockets that are in this iron pickaxe right now. We're going to take out this advanced spinel because it's not as good as the perfect spinel that I've got, right? And that one's only giving me unbreakable 50. This one is giving me unbreakable 60, right? So we're going to take that out and we stick it in our gem bag, jeweler's bag. So now we can actually slot this one with the perfect one. And then there we go. It's now done. Uh, so now when we go to use this, it's now got unbreakable 60 in it. And so the, the decreased durability loss will not even, it will be even less. So it's even more powerful. There we go. Does that help explain the gem system a little bit more? I know there's a lot to it. Um, there was a lot to learn in it. Um, so each of these I haven't bothered to modify yet. I've just been collecting the stuff. I've just been kind of like doing my thing. Uh, but w as you can see here, we've got quite a few gems here that we can play about with. Not only that, but you also have these gems which do two things on them. So these ones will do actually two items when they're merged together. That's why these ones are even more of like adding on multiple effects onto a weapon. So let's try and find one. Uh, have I got one here? Here we go. So this one here with the nether strand, you'll see here... Uh, one of them has got a double one with Endless Bolt 4 and Necromancer, 4, uh, Necromancer 3 on it. If I hold down Alt, it actually gives two effects. So it gives you ammo usage reduced and there's a chance of summoning Skeleton Archers as well. Uh, so that's just like... that's So these multiple ones are really, really good to add on. So the problem is each one of these takes up a a slot like an uh, an inventory slot and so it's a real pain to try and like you can't combine these ones uh unless you have one of these items up here now these ones seems to be very special you have to have one of these special boxes these will actually compare like these will actually combine two um gems together so, I've been I've been concentrating on the jewel crafting, and I've been trying to keep this. I keep calling it my shop, but it's not really a shop. Um, wait, what have we got in here? We've got one resin in here now. Have I got any resin? No. Oh, I do. I've got five. Let's see if it will do anything. Will the chest suck it up? Okay, the chest sucked it up, and it's now lighting up the place. Okay, good. Uh, so, yes. So that is the gem crafting system. And, uh, yeah. So you can see now why these five-star ones uh, are very important. Um, the This black metal shield is actually super important. Uh, there's other ones. There's other shields and stuff as well. Um, I held some back. Um, so dual crafting mod adds a lot uh, to the to the game. Um, 
you're gonna need a ton of storage though i'm just i'm just warning you there if you get the mod it's actually beautiful um and there is actually let's have a look there's normally jewels on the ground as well yeah look here they are so there's crystals on the ground that you can mine that you would just use a pickaxe on so you can that's another way of picking up the emeralds now the gem crafting table allows you to um upgrade them so let's let's have a look at that so in the gem crafters table and this is how you gain the xp so um we can make five simple onyxes here because we've got 25 of those uh regular onyx stones so we can make five of them so that will speed things up here we go so now um there's a bunch here there's a bunch there See, I've, I've I've failed a couple of times here. That's fine. It's it's gonna happen. So, the failed ones we can actually reuse as well. Uh, but our advanced phonic phoenix, we've got another advanced onyx. We can now make a bunch of them because we've got twenty-seven of them. So here we go. And each time that I do this, I'm gaining XP for gem crafting. I might actually gain a level if I keep playing about with this. So there we go. So we've done a bunch of these. Now we can do a bunch of perfect Onyx ones. Because we've got 16 of these to done. Sometimes it's going to fail. Like, you, you, it's, there's always a chance that things are going to fail. Especially when you're trying to go up to the more advanced ones. There we go, we're failing. There we go, I leveled up. So now I'm up to 36. The only thing that I wish that they would do for this mod is that I wish that they would have a 5 for the perfect on X1. Doing it 5 at a time. Now, you can modify these levels as well. You can modify how hard this is to get a perfect onyx. Um, I'm not too sure what it's set to right now. I think it's set to like the basic ones, but you can modify. We could have it set to be a little bit easier probably than what it was. We, I think actually it would be way more challenging to actually make to actually make a, a perfect one. You almost want it to be a little bit grindy because otherwise you end up with so many that look see look we've got 44 perfect onyxes there we've got 23 sitting around that we i mean if anyone wanted to come and and do stuff they could do it easily but yeah uh i'm gonna head back now to my home because i need to drop off a bunch of this stuff now but yeah, I hope that explains stuff because the gem crafting is cool. Uh, I think it. I think you might need playing about with it a little bit. It is an interesting mod, definitely. I think it's probably the one, the one mod that we've got here, uh, as well as the loot boxes, which really make a change. Oh, and obviously these, these are make a huge difference to me. Having these boxes that you can just throw stuff on the floor and they just go they get sucked up like a i mean there are a few more things i could do to gem crafting to, uh, to make it oh yeah i'm sure you could yeah that's what i'm saying but that's the whole point that's what that's what we're doing we're yeah. testing stuff out so i get it we just see how things work right now and we can change stuff in the future And what you were saying, Red, because I heard yeah. that too, you were trying to say you wanted to, where your thought was, instead of getting like 42, it would cost you a couple to make one, is what you're, is what, 
increase the cost of, of making one. Well, not necessarily. The one... Maybe or... the cost, or maybe the percentage chance of it failing. Okay. 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 You want that increased, or? I mean, the, yeah, I mean, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Because at the moment, we've got quite a few. Well, we just most of them on. are from drops now. That's I, true. I've been experimenting with a, another setting for okay. uh, gem crafting or jewel crafting on my game. And thus far, it's, it's dialed in pretty tightly. With Sweet. The, the current settings, as I duplicated the settings that we have here over there. So, all I need yeah. to do is change a few things internally on that config on my end. Send it off to General. General can then copy it over onto the server config, and that will leak everything. Yeah, like this one here is like the crafting call. I'm looking at the perfect ruby. Crafting cost for a perfect ruby is one advanced red socket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's just so it's a one for one. It's it's, it's one it's one ruby. Uh, yep. Advanced ruby. Yep. It's a one uh, for one. Then you get the percentage yeah, it's chance a, for failure. One, but yeah, there's always the chance that it's gonna break, and then you get one. Yeah, I'm not sure. really too worried about the amount that it takes. It's like the percentage chance. Mm -hmm. it, it depends which way you do it. I mean, you're right. Yeah. Maybe you yeah. do two for one. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you can change with the mod and, and how it can work, but. Uh, looking here, like the drop ratio, the weight of the item, the trade value of it, who can it, sell it? It doesn't have. It could be made to have trade Yes, value. yeah, trader value We would zero. need yeah. another mod. Yeah. Yeah, the amount of stuff in here is a lot. Because I really don't want to sit there and assign trade value to every bloody person. Yeah. <laughs> I already got my hands full with just the mod as it is. <laughs> yeah, jewel crafting is a big mod, though. So I appreciate uh, that. Steelworks is bigger. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So which Steel, one is the oh, item box? Steelworks uh, with the uh, item drawers? Yeah, the, the, uh, no. The KG item drawers? Is, no, is tiny. not that one. The, um, the one with the loot boxes. That is part of... Jewel crafting. Jewel crafting. Wow, yeah. this is a, that's, that's a, such a huge mod. You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore now. <laughs> I've been so lost, like, just getting rid of stuff. I've still got a ton of stuff. Yeah, so all that stuff is up there next to your base out there. I don't know what the range is for away from the benches as to what will auto clean up. Um, I don't know if it's got to, if it's going to be inside the if it just has a default range or if it's a uh they can tell if it's inside of a building or, or next to a building or something so right we haven't uh we haven't looked at that part yet Yeah, I love those boxes. Those those boxes that are huge to me. Like having these little boxes, oh. Honestly, I don't know how I could play Valheim without them now. Like they are so awesome. Look how many freaking look, Grey Dwarf eyes. Fifteen hundred. Two thousand wood? 
got 2,000 stone now. What's that? The black marble? 262. All right. Well, I guess I can do some building now. Cool thing is that means that the the furnace is automatically so like those couple things. I'm gonna head off and head to bed for the evening. Oh and yeah, I'm no, that's cool. Guys, tomorrow. So. Night, General. Good night, all. Good night. You later, man. Probably do the do this. Yeah, that's probably. Let's do it there. And then we should be able to put that on top. Yeah, there we go. Now it's not so bad. Sweet! Oh, that's one thing that I need now. Tin. I don't think I've... Uh... Be right back a sec. Alright. I'm going to get some tin. Ah. These weapons that we're using right now are, like, very, very OP. They're like these steel weapons and... remember what are the um oh i should look that up shouldn't i gray dwarf each n seconds heals nearby allies does the gray dwarf soul gem work on you or I guess not. It's other allies, isn't it? It says. Heal percentage of your damage health. That's, that's the one that you want. I don't even know where you get bats from. Uh, decrease movement speed, but it increase attack damage. Decrease overall stamina usage. Car blob.
additional jumps. Bats, you think it's the frost caves? Yeah, that's the one that you want to do. You have to kill 30 of these things. You have to kill 30 of these monsters to be able to turn them into a soul gem. And then you need a certain amount of soul gem to level them up. So you could be uh, farming a lot of things to get the perfect, you know, weapon or ability. Um, now, what did I want in here? I can't okay. even remember why um. I was coming in here. Oh, tin. That was it. Tin. Wait, that's not tin? Oh, okay. Ow. So these are the souls that I can collect. There is a lot of added mods onto this, and it's really good fun. Is that a troll? I was busy working here. Work in here. Keep the noise down. You'll disturb the neighbors. Chicken. Should probably eat some food, shouldn't I? He literally ran away. Come on. Do you see how much of the durability is going down on this thing? It's like next to nothing now with that extra gem in it. Oh, I think this is this is Plains area now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going into Plains now. Let's try and go up the...
What the absolute? What was that? Did I kill him and he just had to get closer to me and then he exploded? What's that? The Easter Bunny? The poison infused exotic hair. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a lot Lux cape. I'm actually still wearing old armor, believe it or not. Oh, what's that? There's a purple item down here. I bet it's not very good, though. Oh, leather tunic. Also, we've got different building mods here. So, we've got the... We got this uh, Odin's hammer, which gives you access to different things here. We got, um, I think it's like Farmheim and stuff and things like that as well. By the way, what's the advanced cooking station too? Is that like an alternative version of it? It's a... Um it goes with the uh, farm. Uh, Farmheim. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Farmheim, and it's basically a, a big barbecue thing. Okay. It just so does it... cooks lots and lots of raw meat, whatever you put in there. Okay, cool. So yeah, we've also got all these new building items that we can use. I actually particular this brick, this uh, brick here, this is actually uh, from that. That's from that mod. That's these bricks here, the brick stone, and then they have hard rock as well. Oh man, it's ten past eleven already. I wonder why I was tired. Whoa. There's also all these doors. We've got different doors here. Crystal gate, iron gate, and diverger, iron doors. Lots of different decor, big ceiling braziers and stuff. Small iron storage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that is, yeah. Iron ravens, iron wolf, iron dragon decoration. Oh, look at that. Could have that out the front. Have that hanging over the front, or an iron raven. I think the iron wolves look better though. You could have that there and that there. Still haven't finished building on this house. It's kind of crazy. I wanted to do a little bit more um, 
missed missed their lens tonight, but I feel like everything's been uh, rolled off. So we actually have an option here, but I'm going to go to number seven. And we have these pieces here, thin wood beams. Yeah, the roll is going to kill me one of these days. There we go. Oh, I need more fine wood. If I run out of fine wood, the fine wood. No. Ah. Uh, let's shift deposit all that wood. There we go, we'll just keep this with us. Okay, let's see if we can change the snapping point. There we go. I bet that went through the wall. Has it gone through the wall? On th oh, it did. Perfect. And then I need to drop off this. Wow, that's all I had left was one fine wood. What is this? A still paged heat shield. Okay, that's good. I can break that down and 
Wow, what's this? Uh, Silver Sword. Oh, okay. Fenris Hood. Crystal Battle Axe. It's not as good as what I've already got. But, this is a good one for breaking down. I think I totally forgot about silver which means that I need to add in another row here of stone drawers there we go So that now just pushes the black metal along by one more. This one is going to have to be silver, which I think I can break down here. Silver sword, here we go. In. That's silver. I'll have to move these. There. Look at all this breeze glands that I've got as well. Crazy amount of them. Anyway, I think this is where we're going to call it here. Alright guys, I'm going to head off now I think as well. Alright Red, I'm in a bit, I'm making a drawbridge right now. Oh nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've yet to play about with them. I, I was intrigued by them, though. Yeah, I just started messing with it, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, though. All right, will do. You too. All right, we are going to log out now. Quit out the game. And, yeah, I hope everyone is enjoying looking at all the different mods and stuff that we are having uh here so i am glad that you guys are enjoying it too yeah i'm, I'm gonna call it kind of an early one uh, i want to make sure that uh, i got plenty of rest for this week but yes anyway uh i greatly appreciate everyone for spending time with me this evening on this chilled out nice sunday night um you can support the channel by donating to streamlabs or by becoming a member on youtube and if none of that tickles your fancy you can hit the like and subscribe buttons and ring that notification bell so you can watch my streams in the future which to be honest it's much more important that i get to see you all again i'm red viking and i'll be catching you in the next one good night guys
all intoxicated I got a legend on the way I'm falling for you baby What can I do to make you stay? The baseline's taking over We've come too far to turn around So turn the music louder I let my feet not touch the ground so many days and you're driving me crazy Please can you stay, you can just for the night I'm losing my way, but don't try to contain me Cause I'm still running, running on So many days and you're driving me crazy Please can you stay, even just for the night I'm losing my way, but don't try to contain me Cause I'm still running